I popped in some contacts. These are a very, very dark brown. I cannot see a thing. I already did my hair and I'm starting off priming my skin with the Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield. I'm using a clown white cream. This is just a white cream makeup and I'm applying that on my skin as the base with just a flat foundation brush. I'm not making this perfect. I'm just slapping it on there. And then I'm also bringing that down my neck in kind of wispy feathery motion. Once my first layer was on, I went in with a second layer, kind of smashing it into my skin, making it very uneven and looked very worn in and lived in and kind of deconstructed. I have this little stippling sponge that I actually use to like mimic like beard stubble. I'm just running this over my face to make it look really worn. For some color, I'm using a Mayron Press Pigment Palette. I'm taking a purple and I'm I'm honestly freestyling this. I had no idea where this was going to go and I didn't have a plan. I'm popping this right on the inner brow, of my, or inner part of my brow, kind of like wisping it up. And then I also took a darker maroon shade. I thought that this, this with the purple kind of really deepened it up and I really was liking where this was going. I kind of just placed that on top of the purple, worked it around, kind of on my, you know, around my brow region. And then I was also going back with that little sponge and um, like pushing it back and kind of stippling the white, the cream white over top of it, using my fingers, using a brush. I was really just doing anything and going with it. Yeah, just like finger painting it on. And you'll notice every time I do a step, I go back into the clown white and kind of stipple over top of it. This just makes it look really warm because I didn't want my base to be, you know, worn and like kind of washed away and then the makeup be perfect on top. That just doesn't make sense. So I just, you know, I, I winged it and <laughs> I liked how it was going. So I also applied a little bit of glitter to my inner tear duct and was working with the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I applied some of that underneath my eyes and then I did like this little like Lady Gaga like Thing underneath there I thought that that looked so cool I took a black pigment from the Mayron palette and applied that right in the inner bit of my brow just to make me look a little bit angry a little bit more sad then I mimicked everything that I did on my face on my neck now I'm gonna be working with the Mayron mixing liquid and the Mayron this is a metallic powder this is just in the silver what I did was I mixed these two together and then you literally have like liquid silver. I love this stuff so much. I popped some black onto my temples and then I brought that out and then I took this silver and just with a random Krylon brush, I was putting this on my forehead and letting it drip down. I applied a ton of this product and I just like played with it. I had a paper towel handy just to catch any fall. Um, I didn't want it to go into my eyes, just make sure that if you are recreating this that nothing goes into your eyes. I was having fun with it, just helping it kind of bring down, making it look like I was kind of melting, like I was out in the rain possibly. I also did this on my cheekbones, kind of, it's kind of to mimic like my makeup is like melting away and like falling off and you know, I was left out, left out in the rain or something, I don't know. I also did this on my mouth, but for my mouth, I took my fingers and I was really moving it around. I wanted it to re like resemble a clown mouth and clown mouths are usually large, so I, I brought it out pretty far. I then took the metallic powder on its own just on the brush and I kind of swept that over some parts just to give them like a really like high intensity shine. I thought that was really cool and then on top of my eyelids as well. I thought this made me look a little bit more innocent and cute. And again, obviously back in with that black sponge with that white on top just to break it up and make it look very old. For my mouth, I added a little bit of black powder into the center and then I also popped that out with a brush. This is a powder. I didn't use a cream because I didn't want it to get really wrecked. Is, is that kind of funny because all this is wrecked? But I wanted it to have some sort of structure to it. It's very structured makeup but it's just it's like an organized mess. I also brought some of that liquid metallic down on the bottom of my eyes and on my neck as well. I wanted the mouth to kind of mimic my eyes so I went in with that purple and that maroon shade and I applied that around my mouth in sort of a like a big clown mouth shape. This black acrylic paint from MAC has been my life lately. I 
covered my, you know, those things underneath my eyes that I just did a layer. I just wanted to black them up a little bit. And then I also round this down my eyes with kind of a squiggly, like, as if I was crying motion. I also took a setting spray and I sprayed it so it kind of looked like it was more, like, damaged-ish. So my technique for this was hold up the paint to the surface and then spray it. And the spray kind of, like flash the paint to go everywhere it didn't necessarily spread it around because the acrylic I don't think it's water based I don't really know well acrylic mm, I don't know anyway so this is what I did because it didn't mix with it but it made it spread so beautifully and make it look like it was really like dripping like oh oh I love this effect it looked so cool and this is the official public service announcement do not get the dewy finish setting spray by NYX in your eyes because it hurts you do not spray it in your eyes, okay? Back to my eyes, I took that black pigment again and I started buffing it on top just to make me look a little bit more sad, just to make me look a little bit more depressed and like, oh my god, I'm really wet, like my makeup's ruined. I thought it needed something else and I took the flash palette again and I went into this blue. I thought, mm, my hair's blue, it's missing something. So for my nose, put a little blue on there, I worked a little bit of gray in there, and I also put a little bit of black in there. Again, just going over it with that black sponge with a little bit of white cream on there. And for the eyes, I put a little bit of jumbo pencil and milk in there just to open them up. Like I said in the beginning, I had no idea where this was going, so my face had all this awesome texture, so I added a little bit more texture and color to my neck just to make it look more cohesive. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like this video, and I'll see you later.